Hey guys, what's going on? Culprit here, and today was a big day for us, wasn't it? Uh, well, for most of you. For me, I had to wait. Uh, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, you saw that I was at work today, and I tried my best to keep up in the morning as we were kind of prepping for a job, and then once the job got going, I kind of had to go radio silent AFK. Couldn't watch the trailers. Well, I, I could, but I didn't want to watch it on my iPhone. I wanted to watch it in its full glory. Um, not condensed down on this little screen, and you, you know how you should enjoy these things. I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here. So I just actually recently sat down and watched the Parasol Storm trailer, the Levolution trailer, the Battlefield Premium trailer. I'm kind of letting it sink in, and I've been sitting here trying to gather my thoughts. Now first, let me apologize. The reason you're not seeing that footage is because I'm not allowed to. There is an embargo. Those of us not in that uh, cannot use their footage. I can't even play the music to kind of get you guys hyped up to start the video. I can't do anything. But maybe someday, through uh, you know your help to continue liking and viewing and sharing my videos, cross our fingers, maybe someday I'll be able to actually bring you these things like everybody else and give you my insight on it. But I'm going to talk here, and I'm going to talk just first impressions, because I was sitting here trying to gather my thoughts. I was trying to watch it. I haven't watched anybody else's videos. I don't like to do that. I like to kind of watch it several times myself. I throw it into Vegas. I kind of watch it in slow-mo. This way I can stop. I can go frame by frame if I want, because I just feel like there's so many details crammed in these trailers now, and, and people mock these impression videos or whatever. I don't care. I enjoy the hell out of making these. This is like Christmas for me. I get this nice little three minute, two minute video. I can break it down, look at it, and see all these really cool things I'm gonna get to play with over the next year or two or what have you. Um, but that this is not gonna be that in depth of an analysis. It's really gonna kind of be impressions. I'm basically sitting here not as a YouTuber. I'm sitting here as a, as a fanboy, as a gamer, just like you guys. And I'm talking about what I'm excited about. And I want to ask you guys in the comments to please tell me what you're excited about because I'm sure I miss stuff. Let's start. Uh, Paracel Storm. We heard the name. I, I tweeted it out. I, we kind of I kind of got that right with some of the forums I read. Um, first impressions. It's lush tropical environment. Lots of colors. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you know I was kind of worried about the core uh, Battlefield 4 game because we've only seen the urban. And listen, I, I understand it's hard to do colors with urban. And I know most of those maps we've seen haven't been fully rendered out. But man, it was nice to see some you know watery blues, and jungle greens, and all these things. But man, oh man, oh man. That damn sun. It's back. It's, it's Sun Glare 3.0. Oh, man. It's it's bad on this one. Uh, didn't notice it so much in Siege of Shanghai or, you know, but here it is there in full effect. Good Lord. Uh, speaking of good Lord, there is a good level of destruction. I saw quite a few buildings falling over. We don't see that so much in Shanghai. I felt if the, Shanghai felt more like a Battlefield 3 strike at Karkin. There is destruction, but it's selective destruction. This, we saw a lot of bridges. We saw bridges blown up, which is great. I love that. I've talked about it in videos. Part of a dynamic environment, part of the evolution. Saw some buildings seem to be fully crumbling down. Awesome. There was limited structures on this map, as you guys saw. It was mostly open, lush kind of trees and, and na natural vegetation. Um, it was kind of weird, because we heard so much about naval warfare. Uh, but what I saw, at least as far as Paracel Island, uh, Paracel Storm, Paracel Islands, whatever you want to call it, um, I saw more amphibious warfare. <laughs> you know, and storming of the beach. And every, who doesn't love storming the beach? Uh, but I saw that. That was more, you know, little boats. We saw the big ships, but I felt like they were map items and elements that were more static, I guess, from what I saw just from this trailer. Now, we know that there's the Naval Warfare DLC coming down, which is kind of ocean warfare. I expect to see the bigger ships there and more robust and proper Naval Warfare. But here, as we heard a lot of hype about Naval Warfare, Naval Warfare, I was kind of like, okay, this is more amphibious assault you know storming the beaches and i think i love it I'm, I'm not complaining just not i'm nitpicking a little bit but uh saw lots of boats lots of boats obviously we know obliteration is a lot of the cuts we saw is a 64 man game mode um we're gonna need every man because there's a lot of boats in that intro and i remember them doing this with caspian border at gamescom what two years ago now right and they had tons of vehicles running down that big field, and you got this impression it was going to be tons of vehicles, and there is. There is a ton of vehicles of Cap Caspian, so I think this is going to be the same way. Uh, it was probably for, you know, just recording purposes, one guy in every vehicle to kind of give that illusion. So, cool, cool, you know, obviously cool cinematics. I mean, this is why I want Battle Recorder, man. Not just for, you know, me as a YouTuber or me, you know, to play around. And I want to see someone make a movie. Like, like, look at that. Look at that trailer. You could totally remake Saving Private Ryan the opening, the storming of, of the beaches of Normandy and whatnot through the Battlefield 4 engine, and it would be awesome to see that just the, the talented people go nuts. It would be incredible, but <laughs> we'll continue to cross our fingers for that for another day, I suppose. Um, aside from the ship crashing into the beach, like I said, I you know, we saw the big ship, obviously the main levolution point. Uh, like I said, it seemed more amphibious, less naval warfare. Obviously, there's fighting in boats and running around, but 
you know, it, it, I mean, obliteration almost kind of at, in some of the clips seemed more like you know boat superiority. Uh, so I, I do worry about that. That too much of the concentration will be uh, offshore and in the air than on the ground because you know that's where I'm going to be. That's where I live. That's what I do. Um, infantry, ground pound, you know. But hey, I, you know, we know that some of these things can be misleading just for the wow factor, and, and it was plenty of wow factor. That's for sure. Uh, the tempo seemed faster uh, than we kind of used for Battlefield 3. I've said that about Siege of Shanghai. It seemed like the, uh, the players move a little quicker. Don't know. Could be perks. Could be whatever in the game. Could also be just the music that kind of setting the tempo and some really good editing by Ro the Poli and, and the guys over there at Dice. They're, they're God. They're so good at what they do. Um, the large ships, like I said, seem pretty static, kind of like we had in Battlefield 3. I, I didn't get any indication we could drive them, maneuver them. Um, I didn't really see, you know, any firing from them. Correct me if I'm wrong, I, I definitely could have missed that. I want to go back and look right now, but I'll leave this out there raw. Um, yeah, so they seem kind of set pieces, like we have in Battlefield 3 for amphibious launches. That's, that's the impression I got. Uh, lots of tiny islands. We were under the impression as the, as the new map kind of broke that it was three islands. Well, there was way more than three islands. There was the one view... Um, that I saw from the C-130, which is in Conquest, which, boo, I'm, I'm not, not very happy about. Maybe it's been rebalanced. Um, that he's looking down on one flag, and he's attacking the flag, and there's no other flag in the screen. And it's a five-flag Conquest map, which I felt, thought was kind of interesting. I think this map is large. And not just, like, water large, but I think there's a lot of islands there. Uh, pretty interesting. I said the darn sun. Oh, God. Yeah, it was so obnoxious. I have it listed here on my little list I made twice. You know, I sit down. I'm old school. I, I watch, and I want to. I watch it once with nothing. Second time, I break out the old static notepad, and I write down. Because I don't want to, you know, I can type in the notepad on my computer, but I don't want to be typing in between. I just jot things down as I see them. I wrote down about the sun twice. <laughs> God. Hopefully, in these weekly Battlefield Premium content drops, we're going to get a pair of darn sunglasses already. Um, C-130, as I said, was in Conquest on Paracel. Conquest, five man, five flag, excuse me, I'm jibber jabbering, my mind is going all over the place. <laughs> Bridge destruction, we saw that, yes, love that. You guys know I've talked about that before, I think it's just a simple element, but it, especially on a map like this, or think like a Wake Island where you can blow up the bridge on Wake Island, that would be pretty cool. Um, just kind of makes tankers think differently in these types of things. All oh, the weather changes. Um, God, that was beautiful. <laughs> uh, but uh, it seems to affect the sea a lot more, and I would imagine it would have some effect on the air. But luckily, it didn't seem to hurt your vision too much, which was my big concern. I thought they were just going to make kind of, you know, let's say dusk and rainy basically just mean like, hard to see. Uh, we didn't get that, which was pretty cool. I was excited by that. Um, the main revolution point obviously is the ship crashing into the beach which i mean what was that speed three or something with sandra bullock that's what that that's what, yeah i'm dating myself here um god it looked cool <laughs> but i don't know, know how that's gonna affect gameplay how that how is that gonna make a kind of dynamic map element time will tell very interested in that um and how many times are we gonna see that before we don't even turn our heads is that gonna turn into an objective point I, who knows but uh I, I just yeah pretty cool stuff man now let's move on to the obliteration, the little elements we saw. Uh, looks intense, looks crazy, looks chaotic, possibly too chaotic, but you know, time will tell, see how it balances out. There's just so much going on. You know, got all the airfare, air warfare, whatever you want to say, uh, boats everywhere. Like I said, it almost looks like boat superiority, craziness. Uh, as we know, it's three kind of control points for each team, uh, capture points, destruction points. I said MCOMs in my other video, but that wasn't quite right. And a bomb kind of drops randomly in the middle, which I think is really awesome. So you got to fight for the bomb, control the bomb. Kind of kind of a mix between capture the flag, uh, hot spot with Medal of Honor Warfighter, and like headquarters, a COD. Uh, all games I like. I, I just like it. A new game mode. We, we need that so badly in um, Battlefield. I, I was very encouraged by that. It seems very chaotic. seems very up-tempo. I'm looking forward to trying it. And lastly, let's talk about the China Rising, the little bit of teaser we saw at the end there, uh, a couple, what was it, 30 seconds maybe, we saw lush jungle, uh, very much, you know, vegetation, hiding, it's going to be ambushy, that type of stuff for sure. We saw some caves, I imagine that's going to be the close quarter CQB element, you know, we saw some stairs in there, I imagine you're going to need some, uh, you know, night vision type of stuff. Um, going to be dark, that kind of, you know, close quarter, a la Metro, maybe, I dare say, you know, very confined movement. It's a cave, I mean, what are you going to do? Uh... The, uh, towards the end, we saw this, you know, field that's been bombed out. Are those bombs kind of dynamic, creatable, you know, map deformation that we know they tried in Battlefield 3, then they stopped, and then they kind of brought it back a little bit. Um, and and lastly, uh, the, the the huge, you know, bomber we saw. I, now I'm not I'm not a military kind of nerd. I don't know the name of the actual plane, but you know what I'm talking about. Now, 
I don't know. This scares the hell out of me. What is this? We, they, they, we haven't even gotten to see one thirty yet. This thing flies over and just nukes the map. I don't know. What, I'm hoping it's just kind of a, a levolution element. This thing flies over, bombs the hell out of, say, uh, uh, some kind of a mountaintop, and now suddenly that mountain deforms and the tunnels open up, and now it's a whole new map. That, that's how I'm hoping it's going to go. Time will tell. I hope it's not just this big thing that people can just rain death out of like the c-130 but who knows too early to kind of go crazy about anything but man really really big wow factor really beautiful stuff and dice knows how to make a trailer they know how to build that hype um we're sitting at about what are saying the first of october for anybody with early access there's about seven eight ways you can get early access as we found out now so we're really about six weeks out it's not very far it's going to go quick enjoy the rest of your summer and look for a lot of videos from me uh, I'm going to get into some details on these on these trailers. I'm going to speak about the Levolution Trailer. i got a lot of details I want to get on that. We saw a lot of little fine points. But, guys, please, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm sure I missed things. Um, you guys, for me, are the pulse of kind of the player base. Let me know what you think. Let me know what direction you want me to talk about and focus on immediately because there's a mountain of information to kind of digest. And as always, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you stick around and follow me with a lot of videos leading up to Battlefield 4. And, of course, once the dam breaks, the dam breaks. Did anybody see that? Oh, I'm going to get in another video. Flooded streets. How awesome. Uh, like always, guys. Thanks so much. Take care.